All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Grassroots, the final season. This is season six, episode 14. A uh, bit of a different one tonight that it's not a live stream. That's, of course, because Manchester United game is uh, on television tonight, Wednesday. So I am otherwise occupied watching that game. But I've, I've wanted to record this so I can get this uploaded as well. Um, and then at least we can continue and crack on with the season as normal. Uh, live stream will come back on Friday uh, for episode 15. But as you can see, look at that as well. Top scorer in the Premier League so far this season is Justin Clivert. Um, we are 26 games into the season. So at the end of this episode, we'll have played 28. And that will leave us 10 league games away from the end of the season. So we're getting there. We're getting close. Uh, this episode will have two league games in um, either side of that Champions League match first leg against Napoli so we're going to kick it straight off with the Aston Villa game it's away from home at Villa Park we do need to keep getting those three points um, to keep our title hopes alive Clivert's obviously got to start because he's the top scorer in the league at the moment um, but I'm going to start Eddie and Ketty alongside him and keep Greenwood on the bench um, what else shall we do um no, nothing. I think that'll be it. I'll start Ryan Kent ahead of Ryan Sessegnon as well, but I think that'll do it. So let's jump straight into Aston Villa versus Salford City then. Well, the main story here is we are going to see in action the top scorer in the league. And it's live. Yep, Justin Cliver is having a great season this season. 19 goals so Lovely far in the league. <coughs> Hopefully he can today. continue scoring. We definitely Tyler. need goals His from him Smith. We're if the, that we're going to go for the title. For Premier league we're on we good course, to be it's fair, with five up. points ahead of really Liverpool still. What's going to unfold here, if we can keep that going, Martin, we'll have a really good chance to win the league. An entertaining tussle here. I think we'll find that out in the first ten minutes how these teams approach the task. Able to oh. make the interception. The Aston Villa team for this game. Well, we've gone with a 4-3-3 formation here for them. Is that the way you see it, Alan? Yeah, I mean it can be adjusted it could almost be a 4-5-1 if they decide to come over all defensive this team but uh, if they're on the front foot that three up front can cause the opposition back four some problems oh nearly <clears throat> this is the away team lineup this is the way they like to play isn't it and it does allow them with three at the back to have two main attackers up front which is a little bit unusual these days well, you look at that formation and you could interpret it as being a little negative, especially if that holding midfielder in front of the back three doesn't venture. Feels so strange not forward. doing it as a live stream. An onus on the wide men as well. Um, I've gotten used to doing that format front. now. It's going to be interesting. Oh, moving forward here's Ryan Kent. Great goal, 1-0. Oh, open the scoring here. It's a good start. It's a flying start, really. Great Wins bit of play there. Goal. Maybe not his most spectacular, but an important one here. Nice finish. And we can see a slightly different viewpoint on it. And that has opened the scoring. 1-0 here. Yeah, as I was saying, it's strange not doing it as a live stream, but Ramsey. it'll be an interesting... Uh, be an interesting well, evening with United that, playing Brighton in the made League the Cup. Made it look easy, actually. Excellent vision. Hopefully. Is this the oh, oh hopefully we'll get the win. You can catch me on TikTok right after the game when I'll post my uh, quick one-minute review. You can find me on TikTok the same as the way you can find me on any other social media at Nicky Ducky. In goes the corner. 
No way through for the shot. Blocked. Struggle to get long shots away these days. The I don't know why. Was able to intervene. That's how to tackle. Well, this is the man that's been making the headlines this week. It's turned out to be a big story. He has definitely announced his retirement. I'm sure he would have told the football club before we found out because they've got to find a replacement for this fella and that's not going to be easy. Good ball. Good vision. Good score. Plays it back across. Cliver. Oh. Held it, the goalkeeper. Well, that save, Martin, that could be a key moment in this game because... I think it would have been all over if he'd have let that one in. What a stop. Well, he's got away from him. Strong, powerful clearance. El Ghazi. Oh, got his angles wrong with the pass. Oh, that's Villa disgraceful. Away the free kick. It was their foul. And the Villa man's going to pick up yellow for that. Yeah, and look at him. He's walked away. He knows he's in the wrong. With his skill, here's a chance to have a run at goal and take the opposition on. It's about finding the right pass now. And the ball's got away that from him. That was shocking. Oh. And he shielded it well. Could be a yellow card here for that foul. Well, the ref's given a foul here, and it's a bad one. Yellow. Yeah, no surprise there at all. Great interception. Beautiful work on the ball. An opportunity here. There's some space to work the ball into. Well, poor pass. Silly. Interception. Take your choice. Jones. It's a deep cross towards the back. Oh, nearly. Well, it's it's clear, a corner. But it's gone behind. It's a corner. Corner swung in. Very able to get his body in the way. He's got skill with the ball. Oh, shocking. Come on, Salford. It's an opportunity, really. But in the end, way off target with that place shot. Well, that's the referee's decision. Two added minutes. Maybe he'll cross it here. Place to try and hit it now. Oh, Stop good save. But only into a dangerous area. Half time then. It's only 1 0. for half time, and it's 1 0 here. Well, this crowd have stayed with their team, and fair play to them. Not making any changes at half time. We're we're doing all right so far. The second period. Played into the middle. No threat now. I don't know if they can turn this around. Their creative players have not been at the party really today. Not been able to create the chances they normally do. Oh, Gareth Bale, man, come on. Just a little nudge to nudge you in the direction of what's coming up on EA Sports for you. Our coverage of the Premier League fixture. Aston Villa, they'll be hosting Chelsea. Yeah, I've had a lot of supporters getting some in with the Good save. Super Corner kick to Villa. Goalkeeper. Yeah, I'm going to make that change. Ryan Sessegnon coming on instead of Gareth Bale. Yeah, yeah. And in yeah, he yeah. goes. Back post, good save. Save. Good defence, sorry. 
There's oh. the interception. Villa are getting too much of the ball in this second half. Opportunity to play it into the middle. This could be an opportunity. Oh, what a touch Corner again. Defender. He was so quick to get into position, to get his body in the way there. Well, the tide has been headed in only one direction and a chance here, according to the crowd, to get a goal. Go on, Matan. Go on. Oh, he's true. Taken down nicely by Eddie Nketiah. Oh, great oh what a goal! Thought that was in. Proper defending, under some pressure. Promising build up. What a shot that was. That challenge. Oh, that was shocking. What a shot that was from Eddie Nketiah. No, next time maybe he'll take a touch. I know many of our viewers will be thinking about the transfer rumours that are going on. We can't add anything to it at the moment, but we'll be trying to keep checking for you. It would be sensational news if those whispers are indeed true. Time running out for Aston Villa. It's time for the Alamo by the look. Steered Go through. on. Paxton for Michael. Could finish it off for you. Is he in here? Oh. No. Oh, blew it. Good defending. All it's going to take is one Villa goal to ruin this for us. We need another goal. Just over a quarter of an hour left on my watch. That would be a throw. And here we're going to have a substitution. And it seems as though it's for tactical reasons. They've got the oh. ball right by that interception. Break quickly when they get possession. What a noise we've got in this stadium. Wonderful reaction by these fans. Really pushing their team on for this late equaliser. Good save. Save. Not decisively. Put away, but not out of harm's way. Must be a goal. That could be God, I thought that was in then. For the equaliser that they so desperately want. I think you're right, Martin. Clock's ticking down. He knew that, and I think it got to him, the situation. An important time for this manager here, trying to manage the situation and keep the lead and making this substitution with that game management in mind. Very good challenge. There's a bit of cover, but he doesn't want to lose possession now. Strong tackle. Throw in to come. Just keep the ball, Salford. We're nearly there. Well, he's had a go. Whoa. He fancied his chance, but he had the technique to get that on target, but it didn't work out. Just wonder whether he took his eye off the ball at the last moment. Three minutes left of the 90-minute match. Now Sessegnon. Into the attacking third. It's indicated it's given away. Minimum of three minutes. And it's on. Now Sessegnon. That's it. That's Hard fought, one nil win in the end. Hope you've enjoyed the game. That was a as difficult game. We have up on the commentary gantry. And the winning team will be enjoying it because a win's one thing, but to... Difficult game. No goals for Clivert today then. But now we move on to the Champions League. Eddie and Ketty are still looking sharp though. Could have had one of the goals of the season if he'd have scored that shot. Christian Rivera has completed a suspension and, and is eligible for selection again at your discretion. Good. 
Um, let's move straight on then. Round of 16 in the Champions League. We're away to Napoli. We'll just go straight into it. I'm not going to bother with the uh, the press conference. We're playing well enough. Clivert to start. Um, no, I'm going to drop Clivert for Enketia for this game. I'm going to put Alan St. Maximan on the right. And I'm going to drop Matan and play... Yeah, we'll play Kagawa. Do love that music. Good evening to you. I must tell you, this is a city I always look forward to travelling to on football commentary business. I'm going to say before the match kicks off, Ray, I can almost guarantee Lee Dixon will mention Bruce Rioc. <laughs> it's happened in nearly every single game so far this season. Champions League to bring you, Lee. This should be magnificent. Well, down to the last 16 teams, Derek. The cream normally starts to rise to the top at this stage. Big teams will start to show their hands, but I'm sure there'll still be a few upsets. We're defending champions, of course, in the Champions League. We won it last season. Oh, Aaron Wan-Bissaka for Napoli. It'd be interesting to see if we can win it again. There's Koulibaly. Come on, Enketia. Come on, Greenwood. Let's try and put it to bed in the first leg. The differences between the group stage and the knockout stages. Did you, as a player, prepare differently when the round of 16 began? Well, you don't before the game. You go into every game wanting to win, etc. But as the group sort of takes shape, you're now looking at results, say, like a draw will do us tonight. So you do start to play the game a little bit differently as the tournament goes on. We are away first, so it would be nice to get out there and win the game. An away goal. Here's the team for Napoli. A standard 4-4-2, a formation you know well from your playing days, Lee. Yeah, I like this formation, Derek. Ooh. Very, very important that when they haven't got the ball, they all stick together. Very solid look about it. When they don't have the ball, very important that they stay close together in midfield. The back four will link across the width of the pitch, but they've got to help the forwards. The two up front need width. Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one Whoa. Got to fairly easily. What a chance. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man. Lee, what do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, this defence really needs to play smart today. They're up against one of the Oh, wan Bissaka. He's gone all the way. Good save. It's 1-0. Oh, he's not. He's put it over. Oh, he's got no right to make that save. It's absolutely fantastic. He didn't make a save, did he? <laughs> He did, but then wan scuffed the follow-up. Thank goodness. It's been pretty well impossible to escape all the news stories surrounding him ahead of today's match. And the reports have been confirmed. And he takes on the shot. Oh, lovely goal. And the goal it is, the opener in this game. Well, keep it tight. That's what both managers would have been saying. But now the opening goal's gone Away in. goal. Tactics have got to change. Well, don't you love to see this perfect attacking football? He dribbles past him as if he isn't there. What a goal. Nearly well, got his fingertips to that. that Watch goal. how close that was. Whoa. The opening goal of the game then. Zielinski Zelke and now Zielinski in a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here 
Looked as though they meant business, but now they've got to try again. I think so many people in anticipation of this game wanting to know more about Gareth Bale. There are many who believe. Surely! Oh, that was terrible. Was likely to be in trouble then. Gareth Bale considering retirement. Greenwood. Run it magnificently and intercepted. Pass was played too early then. Aware of the threat, solving the problem. Come on, Eddie. It is to be a throw in. Happy to take on the shot. Whoa, great That's shot. Fine goalkeeping, real concentration. So now a corner. He's driven in the corner. Now he must favour the cross. Well, he failed to get it away properly. Richarlison. Davy Zelke now on the ball. Richarlison. It's with Williams. And now Amiri. Williams. Well, oh, what a shot. A miles away. No, he was close. It was a decent <sighs> effort. They'll keep plugging away, I'm sure. Greenwood. Kagawa. Good vision. Can he get onto this? The, the cross the oh what a terrible header. Well, the header didn't exactly go to plan well, I'm not sure what he did there but he caught it on the top of terrible the header. whatever he did it was a poor attempt <laughs> should have chested it down and volleyed it right into that bottom corner oh they've lost it Rivera Greenwood, great opportunity. That's the goal. Two nil. Swimmingly for them here. Another goal, and now it's a matter of avoiding any silly mistakes. Well, there's all types of goals, spectacular headers, overhead kicks. This is a simple one, but it's still nice finish. Nice finish, Greenwood. And a second goal for them here. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. This looks promising. In search of space. Ah. Cleared away comprehensively. Half time, 2-0. So that far so good. The first half here. Leverkusen are beating Barcelona at half time. Gonna have to take Nketiah off, aren't I? Justin Cliver on then. And they begin the second half in the first leg of this Champions League round of 16 tie. Great ball. Cliver, 3 0. Excellent three ball. Great finish. One foot in the quarterfinals, I'd say. Well, let's see that one again. It's all about the contact. Does everything right. He's not bothered where the goal is. He knows where it is. He gets a beautiful strike on it. Well, it has been one sided, but they deserve the plaudits for the fact that they've kept going and going. Davy Zelke now. Zielinski, given away. Kagawa, the referee knew that was foul play, but advantage it is. Now let's see what they can do here. And Koulibaly thwarting them. Oh, we're on the counter attack now. Look this at this. Is the home of live football, EA TV. Delighted that you're with us. And hope very much you'll join us for... Good save. 
I'm sure, you know, he wishes he could have that header back. Well, in that position, you should think he's going to score. Poor header. It's really a poor effort with his head. Often tempting to blow your whistle straight away, but the referee let it flow and then went back and handed out the yellow card. Well, he thought he got away with it, and he? he looked over his shoulder, then all of a sudden the referee's there with the yellow card. Sessegnon. Great three ball to Greenwood. Oh. The goalkeeper would expect to catch that one. Greenwood. Here's Kleibert. Well, he's outplayed and outthought him. Shot attempted. Oh, great finish. 4 0. Plyvert becoming one of the most deadly strikers in I Europe. Just love to look at perfect technique, and you won't get any better than this. It's just a dream strike. Great finish. Brilliant, brilliant effort. Well, the goal again, albeit from a different angle. Now we're underway again, and this game was finished as a contest a long time ago. And now Amiri. It is a decent looking attack here. Giving the ball away. Oh, that was terrible. Options around him. And he takes on the shot. Ooh. Just a bit too high with that powerful effort. Yeah, he's just leaned back, Derek. Power was there, but not the direction. That's a very impressive piece of defending. He's found a pocket of space. Forced into the penalty area. Oh, what a header. Paxton for Michael. 5 0. Exactly what they were looking for. I think it's fair to say this tie is over. Well, we're going to see that again. And let's see what a header that was. Absolutely brilliant. Good power on it. And then watch this header. Boosh. Goal. Well, it's been such a one-sided game. You just wonder how many more they could add. So, 20 minutes to go. Amiri. Opportunity it is. Good save, Costa. Attacker versus keeper, and keeper wins. Oh, I always put my money on the attacker. Not this time. Brilliant goalkeeping. Over it comes. And tipping it over the crossbar. And behind it's gone for a corner. He's driven in the corner. And a half-baked clearance. Kagawa saw his pass intercepted. Amiri. Good ball. Didn't and keep it in, though. In forthcoming. Only ten minutes remaining here. Get round the back, Clivert. Go on. Here's Clivert. That's it. Happy to take on the shot. And it might be straightforward. Could have been six. Probably should have been six, but it's all right. Let's not get too greedy. <laughs> Kagawa. Greenwood. Difficult shot to take on. Routine save for the keeper. Yes, yeah, the distance. Look how far out he is. Easy, easy save in the end. Kagawa. And very oh. deadly cut out. Kagawa read it magnificently and intercepted. And the referee is going to add on three minutes. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. It could be 
could be up for grabs. Well, a very high degree of difficulty for any goalkeeper. Sheer quality. Quality of the shot and certainly quality of the save. And there goes the final whistle. It's a victory for the visitors in the first leg of this tie. Well, it's almost job done after 90 minutes, Derek. They need to be... Great win. 5-0 victory, clean sheet, five away goals. Don't think we could have asked for any more. That's fine goalkeeping. 5-0 away win, perfect really. 13 shots, 10 of which were on target. Barcelona lost to Leverkusen. I'm sure they'll turn that around though. Surely. So... Last game of this episode then is going to be Newcastle United. I think it's going to be at St. James's Park as well. No, it's at home. And then we'll be officially only 10 games away from the end of the season. Fingers crossed we can get another three points here. Um, and then after this game, I'm going to have a quick look and see when we play Liverpool next. Because by that time, it could potentially be a title decider. Perfect pitch on a perfect day in this stadium. Alan Smith alongside me, Martin Tyler for the commentary. We have Premier League action for you Thank coming you. right up. Two game. proper teams here, Alan. Oh, what an arena we've got here. Perfectly suited to football and two very noisy sets of fans. What a backdrop that should be to what on paper should be oh. a, an entertaining match. It's a very good interception. Uh oh. Going forward. Great well. tackle. And he can take possession in his own half. Weigel. He wants to gonna try one now. Can't hang onto it, the keeper. There is no doubt that the home side today are the story of the season so far. Tremendous football, great results. Well, we're past the halfway mark, so oh. head, the head in hands now. Yeah, the keeper lovely floated cross there. Busier than that. Well, he really could be the star of the show today. Yeah, and I think the defenders here will be uh, unwise to back off when he picks that ball up 25 yards out because he can hit them. It's Yedlin. Well, they are moving the ball well here. It's a shot. Perez. Giacomo Bonaventura has definitely been in the headlines before this game. He has definitely announced his retirement. I'm sure he would have told the football club before we... Tries the shot. Oh, well. Wow for the chance and couldn't quite supply the finish. Yeah, nothing wrong with that effort. The keeper was a touch worried there for a second. What's the keeper doing here? Looked oh, the corner, going for the spectacular. I need to just get it in the back goal. of the net. Yeah, nowhere near hitting the target there. Oh, bad tackle there. He's letting it go. On the attack here. Oh, he's won it back. That's a really good tackle. That's a great interception. Augustin. Good hit at it, but... Thought that might have been a penalty then. It was off the radar. Well, he's going to show the yellow card. That's good refereeing to go back to the original offence, having played the advantage. Yeah, you always felt that he would. It wasn't the best of challenges, that.
Julian Weigel. Nothing wrong with the industry of the team. That little bit of inspiration lacking, but they need to get their noses in front. Able to intercept here. Great tackle. Chance to get forward from the wing. Newcastle Weigel. not making it easy for me here. Now Munir. Great tackle Excellent again. To that attack until the interception. Come on, Clivert, run. He's offside. He's gone too early. He's offside. Ah, uh, come on. Julian Weigel. Return pass. To put them in front. Drew everything Ooh. behind that shot. And frustrated that it wasn't quite on target. Well, if he keeps getting in those kind of areas, I'm sure he'll score pretty soon. Saw the pass and dealt with it. He's confident with the ball at his feet, isn't he? Spaced across the ball now. Good piece of tackling then. Being closed down now. attacking play here. Oh, and lovely ball. Now. In goes the cross. That's a very weak cross from a very good position. The We've got two added minutes. That's been signaled now. Two minutes. I mean, the pass not completed, really. He could take them on here. Here's Munir. Well, that passed. Half time, nil nil. And there is the half time whistle. Nil nil at the break. In danger of dropping points here. Well, he's been in the game, hasn't he? That's the best we can say for him. Um, but not everything he's tried has come off. Yeah, it was hard work for him in that first half. You could see him putting in a shift, but not much went right. And uh, he'll hope to improve in this second period. No changes at the break, we'll just crack Everything on. Set for the second half. <coughs> Excuse me. Kozawa. Watts. Weigel. Very well done to switch the play. Here's a chance to just stretch the opposition with a bit of width. Augustin. Real promise about that build-up until that challenge. Greenwood. Newcastle want to make a substitution here. A return ball. Go on, Greenwood, lad. In the clear in One nil. Goal. And there it is, the opening goal. Well, it was a decent move and to get some space in a crowded penalty area. Yeah, we'll make that change. No, we and won't. Run out of time. Open the scoring one nil here. Live at Kusawa. No, I think we've seen it. The visitors controlling possession. But you can see the manager down there is less than happy. Obviously, his team's losing. That's bad enough. But oh, this might be an good save, Costa. Level. He's kept it out. Well, long overdue, you feel this change. For a side that's behind, a switch of tactics now. That was a great chance for Newcastle. Put in the corner. Well, it's come to nothing in the end. And it will be a corner because of that deflection. Swung in from the corner. Punched away by the keeper. Watts. Good tackle. Get it away. 
Going forward well. He's gone right through. 1-1. One, one. Feel like it was coming. He's left his man for Ted there. Such quick feet. Shocking defender, though. Look, he just finish. danced his way through. It is uh, level. Both sides have scored here now. Going to switch to a team press and hope we can come away with a winner again. Hit it well. Oh. Full stretch from the keeper to turn that aside. Now Sessignon. Oh, oh Greenwood had more time than that. Better efforts than that. Yeah, Ryan Kent on well, instead of Gareth Bale. Now. Let's go attacking as well. Trying to find the opening, which would be so crucial. And defender can get it upfield. That's the one, Ryan Kent. Clean oh, one on one what a save. Yeah, it's a wonderful stop, Martin, isn't it? And uh, no bits and pieces either to follow up on. Great save. Put the corner in the middle. All Peters out rather for them. Now they're looking to get forward from this position. Gives it away. Can go in from here, crafting the through pass. A real chance here. Oh. Rebounds into play oh. off the post. Fine margins down there. Woodwork. Oh, come on, ref. They keep on playing. Bollocks. I think the goal will soon come. Julian Weigel. Just wonder whether this transfer story that keeps coming up has got any credence to it, Alan. It would be sensational. Oh, he's onside. Saw the goalkeeper, went for power. Eddie and Ketty are coming on to yeah, Christian I mean, Rivera. We're going all out now. A lack of composure involved there. Eight minutes to go. It's 82 minutes played now. Oh, he's offside. By a raised flag from the Come assistant. on, Eddie. Well, Now's thought, the know, time. He timed his run perfectly there, but no, they kept a good straight line and they caught him, threading it through, taking on the opposition and the responsibility as well. Come on. Pressed high here. Oh, Great ball. Demanding a response from the players. players Go on, Kent, lad. to be in the lead now. Back than oh, what a save! The keeper stops it. There could be a follow up now. Weigel. Well, we're down to the last minute here. Well, there's going to be three minutes added on. Three minutes. What? Added well, he's better than that. It's a poor pass. What a difference this could make. To oh. turn a draw into a win on the counter attack now. 1-1, one, one. we dropped points, man. Brought a halt to it all, with the team still all square. Brilliant effort by the players to produce a match like this. In if Liverpool win now, it's back to best. Cold out there, two points. Sure they kept running oh, not what I needed. Should have won that game. Look at that, though. Ten shots, only three on target. Liverpool haven't played yet. They'll play on the Sunday, I think. Oh, no. So, we officially have 10 games left in the league. Ryan Sessignon, I'm happy with the amount of football you're giving me. Thanks, boss. I'm proud of you. Ryan Kent, unless I get selected more often, I'm off. Um, you still got your place in the squad. Justin Cliver, boss, thanks for listening and giving me a run in the team. I'm much happier now. I'm proud of you. Good. So, that's the end for this episode. But coming up then in episode 15, 
another big one. Look, Tottenham Hotspur in the round of 16 in the FA Cup. Man United in the league. And the second leg against Napoli. I mean, that's that's a given, really. 5-0 up going into that one. I can't see us losing 5-0 at home. But, uh, you know, never you never know. Tottenham, Man United and Napoli, then. That's going to be a, another big episode. Um, but just having a quick look at the Premier League before we round it out. Look at that, Florian Nyonzian is still top scorer in the FA Cup. But let's have a quick look at the standings. Pick competition, Premier League. So we're still top of the league, but Liverpool have a chance now to... Wait a minute. 65 to 74, that's nine points. How are we nine points ahead? It was only five a minute ago, and I drew. So it would be 68. Yeah, so it would be seven points if Liverpool win. That's weird. I don't understand how we ended up nine points ahead, unless I wasn't paying attention. But that'll do. That's good enough for me. And a goal difference is better as well now. 53 goals, goal difference, as opposed to Liverpool's 45. So we're in real good shape. We're in better shape than I even thought. Um, so yeah, if even if Liverpool win, they only cut the lead down to seven points. So with ten games to go, we're in a really strong position now for the league title. Um, but yeah, interesting. So next episode then will be Friday at eight pm UK time. This that will be back to a live stream. Um, hopefully, I'll catch you there. Thanks for watching this one though, and I shall catch you on Friday. Thanks for watching.